Okay, what's up guys? Today I decided to go ahead and do the contending ties. I think it started about uh, maybe five days ago. Don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and try it. So let's get started. Oh, what are all these other quests? Oh yeah. <clears throat> so first you gotta talk to Dr. Livingstone. Livingstone. No time to lose. Yeah, ain't got no time to lose. I'm actually in the middle of redoing Child because his critical is it's so bad. Like it's so bad. We meet again. What's the matter? No hold hard fight. Yeah, sure, I'll consider it. I mean, if you're gonna give me free stuff, I mean, of course I'm gonna do it. Like, come on. Oh man. Okay, so I'm assuming these some of these challenges are already out. This one probably came out first, and then probably get a new one every. Yeah, looks like about every day. All right. Well, let's uh, let's let's start one of these. No idea what's happening. All right, so it looks like these were the three that were not unlocked yet. We're gonna start with the first one on easy mode because, you know, easy mode. Um, I, oh, I guess you choose the mode and then you choose difficulty, difficulty after. Okay. Time limits, the status of your teammates, tough enemies, and all manner of challenges and goals. Such things aren't good for your health, you know. While fighting within an aura, your character's attack is greatly increased. Additionally, when a characters are full of stamina, with full stamina hit opponents while standing within auras, they will unleash intense shockwaves. All right. So basically, don't use any stamina. Okay, cool. So uh, if I just do like the extreme difficulty, then I don't have to worry about doing normal and hard. So I will start extreme. I was told that regardless of your world level, I think I also read it. Yeah, regardless of your world level, it will affect, uh, it won't affect the enemies. So uh, it'll be easy or hard no matter what your world level is okay by 100 percent. okay oh so this goes into more detail okay when tank hits an opponent a shock will be released when your stamina is above 50 percent here's every three seconds and tells you the enemies all right cool so that was with stage details so i'm just gonna go ahead and, and choose extreme and I love how these are the same normal 85, but if you're not 85, you gotta be 90. And if you're not 90, well, okay. All right. Sounds good. Oh, I thought they wouldn't have a menu. All right, cool. No menu. Let's see how easy or hard this is. I already feel like I should have chosen Venti. I assume if I stand in the middle, that's when the, yeah, that's when that will activate. So I have three minutes to do this. And I had no burst when I started, so well I guess I had zombies, but that was anti child, I guess, at the very beginning. Basically what I'm trying to say is whatever you come with is come in with is whatever you're gonna start with. So make sure you if you wanna do your best, come in with your burst already charged. Your character's already healed. And I'm assuming you can actually use food here. Let's try. Mm. Go ahead and eat some def some defawns. You could even stack on one of those uh, elemental things that would help too. 
all those elemental potions. Yeah. You can run, but you can't I don't even need the circle. I have my own circle. I'm going in. Retribution. So, so far, the first challenge is pretty easy. All right, cool. That was cool. I'm. Uh, I think I'm gonna do. Since I need to catch up, I'm going to do. Well, let's finish this first. I guess I'll just leave. That's it. All right, cool. So I guess I just got the rewards already. Do they come in the mail? Oh, you get them. Oh, you get them on here on the menu. Okay, cool. Claim, claim, claim. Cool. So yeah, even though I missed them, it's kind of more better. More better. <laughs> Because I can just do the last one, and if I beat that, I get all the other rewards. I like how they do that, honestly. Other games that don't do that are kind of trash. Because I don't see why I should be able to do it on this one, and then now that I did it on the hardest, I have to go back and do it on the easier ones. Whew. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do two of these per video, just because I'm kind of behind. So we're going to try Don't Sweat It. So this one, the damage up by electric charge. Oh, we're just going to do this instead, because it gives more details. Action increased by 150% when character triggers electro charge reactions and opponent shock will be unleashed, dealing kind of every four seconds. Okay, so I need some electric characters to do the best. And as you can see, I have no electric characters right now. So let me go ahead and change that. All right, so I went ahead and switched out uh, Jongli and um, the other person, <laughs> child, with official and venti because even though i think they're mostly going to be venti might not be very useful here okay and i exceed 20 seconds okay so it's kind of similar to the domains because the domains in the water domain you had like kill in between think you can get like, away. 30 seconds i believe something like that <laughs> Oh yeah, that definitely helps. <laughs> definitely helps. And I know I have a speed boost. I don't know where this actually comes from. Is this from the... No, it's not. I don't know what it's from. Now, for some people, it might be better to lower a lot of their HP down and then kill one. That way, just make sure you kill... All of them 20 seconds apart at most, or I guess 19 seconds apart at most. Everybody stand that would be the preferred way to do it. Ooh. Nice. Okay, so they just keep spawning until you kill 20. All right, that was easy. Ah, cool. I'm gonna collect the rewards and I will record the next two in the next video. So until then, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and be safe.